setting up a Facebook fan page for your store, okay? So first thing you're gonna have to do right here is, um, is your store a general store or a niche store? And store but that's the first thing you wanna determine. Is it a general store or is it a niche store when you're building your fan page? Okay, the second thing you're gonna to wanna to consider is, or consider is this. Um, you can create unlimited fan pages, but not too fast. Um, Facebook um, will stop you if you are going too fast. They will put you in what we call Facebook jail. It's not really a real thing, but it kind of is. Facebook jail and block your account. Okay? So you need to consider that this can take weeks sometimes to get back to creating pages. Okay, um, then we're going to put block your uh, page creation account or page management, page manager account. It's not like they're going to block your personal Facebook, but listen, there's a general rule of thumb when it comes to Facebook. Don't go too fast. Okay, if you go too fast on Facebook, uh, Facebook has to do their best. Um, let me like write this down. Like Facebook has to identify if computer programs are being used or if it's a real person. So don't go too fast or you look like a bot. They look like a computer. So what I mean is like don't go creating like 10 pages a day. Okay? Just create them as needed and you should be fine. I have hundreds and hundreds of pages. So again, you can create unlimited pages. And there's a couple uh, rules of thumb here we want to do as well. Okay, uh, rules of thumb. Um, general store should be one, one fan page. Each niche store have their own fan page. Okay? Combine fan pages by niche topic as specific as you want. What this means is that when you're building out fan pages, you might have like two Shopify stores that are maybe both related to dogs. Okay, maybe you have one for pit bulls and one for Rottweilers. Maybe you're getting very, very niche specific. One for pit bulls, one for Rottweilers. So they're both having to do with dogs, but you might only need one Facebook fan page that says like, I love dogs or I love big dogs or whatever it is. You might have one fan page about dogs. So you're really looking to kind of break, combine fan pages by niche topic. Okay, another one you want to do here is you want to reverse engineer by looking at other fan pages first. Okay, find good fan pages to model after. So there's a few different ways to be able to do this. So let's go over here to Facebook. Okay, so the first thing you want to do here when you go over to Facebook is you want to start looking at, do some research and start looking at some fan pages. So let's just go in here and say like dog lovers. Okay, dog lover. And you'll notice there's different things that get pulled up here, right? You got some search results. Then you've got like some groups, you know, communities, da 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 da, da community, community. Then you got um, website, community, da da da. So just go down here, see all results for dog lover. And you'll notice that you can see all kinds of stuff. You can see pages, you can see photos, you can see places, groups. What you're really looking for is pages, okay? So you can either click see more or you can go up here to pages, it doesn't really matter. And so now what it's doing is you typed in the word dog lover and it's bringing up a lot of relevant pages. Now there's lots and lots of ways to do research. I'm just showing you a couple. Um, I don't think we have hours to show you all the different ways to do research. But what you're essentially looking for is you're, you're really just kind of looking for um, a page really where people are selling something or at least branding very, very well. So you can kind of go through. Um, let's, just, let's just go through and look at a lot of these four examples, okay? Let's just look at these four right here. And you'll be able to tell, are these like general community pages? Are these people that are trying to sell something? So let's kind of glance around and let's look at it. So right here, they've got a, a profile picture and a cover photo. This is the general makeup of a page. You've got a name, a profile picture, a cover photo. And then if you want, you can even get your own like shortcut link. So this one is facebook.com slash i.love.dogs.in. Okay. Um, and they're from Seattle, Washington. You know, you can see kind of all this kind of stuff. They've got videos that they're posting here. They've got posts. And so you can kind of look through. You can kind of start to see a little bit about them, okay? They've, they've got a lot of fans. Click to help Sandy. So um, they've got some links that they're kind of posting about. Um, it looks like they're really, like, supporting, like, dogs that have been abandoned. Um, 
you know, maybe they're really, they're, we'll kind of go through and kind of look at what they're doing here, but they're look, literally using it as an awareness, but notice they're posting a lot of things from littlethings.com. So again, littlethings.com. So either right off the bat, we know either littlethings.com is, is either the website that kind of sponsors this or owns it, or they made some sort of a deal. Like Dog Lovers International maybe either made a deal from Little Things, or maybe they own it, or they're friends, or whatever it is, because they're posting a lot of content there, littlethings.com. So again, they're using this as they built a large, so right off the bat, we can see they built a large fan page to draw a lot of attention to this littlethings.com um, to be able to build this out. So you start to see a lot of blog posts. That's really what this is. And it's getting a lot of traction. Now, these are all today. Okay, now here's another one, Honest to Pause. And so look, there's just a lot of activity here, Honest to Pause. And so you can kind of learn to kind of see, okay, um, how, uh, here's an animal rescue, blogs.animalrescue site, honest to pause. So you start to see, okay, they're posting a lot of stuff here. And so you kind of look about this. Now, they also have a Shop Now link. That's another thing worth kind of glancing at. Shop to feed shelter animals. You can see all kinds of stuff that they have here. Um, you know, they've got basically, it looks like they're using a greater good site. When you click this, you can see greater good in the URL. So they've built a greater good site to kind of raise awareness. Instead of Shopify, they're using Greater Good, and you kind of learn a little bit about it. So it's just the very first page we, we looked at. They've got a big fan page, a lot of, um, they've got a big fan page with a lot of fans, okay, four million fans. They've also obviously built this thing up. Um, they're obviously promoting um, their blog posts, they're getting traffic to blogs, and they're selling stuff. So here's, here's a page. Now you can also kind of get an idea for how to build it. So let's just go to the next one. Okay, here's another big page, okay. This one right here, they got uh, digitalf5.com as a website, um, 779,000. Um, they got a lot of pictures. They've got reviews that people are, are posting here. Um, you know, click here to participate. Um, this, your dog could be parts, your dog could be featured in a calendar. Um, so they're kind of doing some stuff there. Again, um, you know, your, your dog could be featured in the calendar. So they're really promoting this pet calendar uh, promotion right here. Um, so we can go ahead and click on it and kind of see what they're promoting. So what I'm doing is I'm not going to spend a lot of time here, but you can kind of see how other people are, um, what they're using their fan pages for. So you've got to get a good understanding of fan pages by reverse engineering. And that's really what I do is I go through and I find fan pages. Now, there's a lot. We're only showing you a few. For right now, they're really going into this pet calendar. You can scroll down. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. Um, you know, your active participation can help you. So they've got this whole participation thing that they're really driving a lot of their traffic to, a lot of their attention to. And you see they got a lot of good engagement because they have a lot of fans. Okay, so you start to see, right? Essentially what you're doing is you start with something like a generic search in your niche, dog lovers, and like look at all, the, all of these stuff. Now what you're really looking to do is you're looking to get in here and try to find um, pages that you can model after, right? So let's like look at this one here, dog lovers with a dog's paw print. And you kind of look, again, generic. They've got their, their little dog logo. They put their dog logo there. they got a couple pictures of dogs, 84,000. And then here we go, like, you know, um, They've got links in their videos, and so here they're going to a website, they're driving traffic, and they're driving traffic to um, controversial stories. There's a controversial story right there. So you can kind of look to see what people are doing. So they're uh, promoting their website, they're promoting tons of pictures, tons of memes. This gives you an idea of how to be able to structure a, a fan page. So this is really what you want to do. Get into your niche, and look, they're, they're bringing controversial videos. Man gets 99 years in jail for pit bull abuse. Um, and then here, a pit bull saves a woman. So what they're doing is they're really doing supportive stuff for dogs, and they're driving a lot of action there. So you start to learn about that. Now, let's go to another section. Let's go to pit bull lover. So now instead of, um, instead of dog lovers, let's get a little bit more specific. Let's do pit bull lovers. And now you got a few more of these. Um, let's go through a couple of these really quick and show you. And this is how you start diving in a little bit to these niches. Now, find pages, 897 is not really as much to model after, but... You want to model after some good pages, at least find something with thousands of likes, and maybe go through a few of these, okay? Uh, we'll go through these. Now, we're just going to kind of browse through. We're going to kind of take a look at what they have. Again, generic picture, name. This one is all pit bull stories, pit bull lovers, and nothing else. So they're really branding this niche of pit bulls. They've got pictures. Again, they've got memes. They've got cute pictures right here. Um, and then look at this. We found somebody who's selling something. So want this? Grab it now. My pit bull is my doorbell. Okay, creative design there, 1.7 thousand likes. So you start to realize how to be able to structure this. Want this? Grab it now. You can kind of see what they're doing. It looks like they um, are going to a, you know, they're going to sell a print-on-demand T-shirt here. 
So you're looking at basically how they're setting this up. Print on demand t-shirt. They've got their own design they've uploaded. And you know, we teach print on demand a lot. Um, so here you go. Here's an example of how to be able to market something. And then here, in between their actual sales posts, they're also coming in here and they're, um, they're putting in memes. So they're putting in memes, another meme, um, another meme. And so see, in between the times when they post sales stuff. Now, there might be a lot of selling going on behind the scenes too. They don't have to post everything to their page. Cute pictures, 3.4 thousand likes. So see, what they've done, and this is, this, is the, this is why I'm spending so much time showing you this. A lot of people, um, a lot of people set this up wrong. A lot of people get too specific here, okay? Notice this is a generic page, okay? Generic, 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 allowing them to sell all kinds of generic pitbull stuff and allowing them to post generic pitbull content. Keep your stuff generic, you guys. This is not, you don't need to go and brand yourself too much. Keep it very, very generic because people are not necessarily going to like a page called, um, you know, let's say um, Chris Records Pitbull Service, you know. They're not going to like a page called Chris Record Pitbull Service because now they have to think whether or not they like it. Is Chris Record a good person? Do they even know Chris Record? Anything like that? So P Chris Record's Pitbull Service is not going to do as well as Pitbull Lovers. Now, people can like this. Are you a Pitbull lover? If so, like this page. So it's a lot easier to be able to create a lot of likes, which is why you'll notice they got you know, 300,000 likes. Okay, so you can start to reverse engineer this. You can go over to their photos and you can start to see, um, as you scroll through, you can start to see all kinds of timeline photos here. You can see, okay, there's a product. You can see all kinds of cool stuff. There's another product that they're promoting here. You know, love it, get it here. You don't have to worry about my pit bull. You have to worry about this crazy pit bull mom if you mess with my baby. And so they got a picture there. You can kind of scroll through. You can see another one. See how they're using a template here? He sees you when you're eating. He knows when you've got treats. You got a pit bull in there. And, you know, you kind of you kind of just see all kinds of cool stuff that they have. You know, and you notice all these kind of cool setups that they have. So that's that's really it. You go and you reverse engineer. So let's get off that page. And then you notice here's another one. So they're giving away a free cheat sheet from Loving Your Pitbulls. They're branding themselves. Same kind of thing. They're giving away cool stuff. Um, they post lots of pictures. So you get an idea for how to run a page. That's the main thing you want to do. Before starting one, get an idea for how to run one. Get an idea for how to be able to make these pages good. Get an idea for what kind of posts get a lot of traction, which posts get a lot of like, which ones don't. Okay, so like something like this, an awesome picture, um, you know, of a pit bull licking a baby. Now that's that's going to get if if you have a page positive about pit bulls, you know, that's going to get a lot of support. Painting pit pit bulls in a nice way, you know, showing that they're not as dangerous as everybody thinks they are. Okay, so you start to see what works. You start to learn a lot about this pit bull lover. You start to learn viral videos, pit bulls with a cat. They're best friends forever. Cute pictures, fun pictures, more cute pictures. So see, you start to see what people are posting. You can start to see what, go through and see what kind of, what's getting a lot of engagement. So now you've done some research, okay? Now that you've done some research, it's time to go in and actually set up a fan page. So after you've done research and decided kind of what you want to do, say, I want to do something like this for my niche, you know? So you want to go in here and you want to choose, you know, is your store a general store or a niche store, okay? Let's do both really quick. So let's go over here. When you're here on this page on Facebook, you can go up here to the top right and just go here to create a page. Okay, drop down menu, go to create a page. And if you can't find that, it's literally as simple as going to Google and just type in create Facebook page. Okay, and there's a lot of information, but you can go right there, create a page. You know, Facebook page is created. It takes you right there. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're probably going to do a brand or product. And then choose your category, and you're going to choose what kind of niche, um, you know, what general niche category are you in? You know, maybe you're in the furniture niche, and maybe let's just do a, a, a specific niche. Let's call let's call our thing. Um, let's do this. Let's let's use uh, let's let's do a different niche besides um, pit bulls. Let me do something fun. Let's go. Let's do the man cave niche. I want to I want to have a Shopify store that sells a bunch of stuff that. Um, that sells man cave products. So I could just grab a name really quick. Let's just go look at one. I go to lean domain search, type in man cave, starts with the search term. Um, let's just grab one real quick. Let's go man cave, let's look for a cool one. Man cave portal, okay? So just like that, that .com is available. So let's just pretend that I'm buying it, okay? Um, so let's just type it man cave portal, okay? Now, um, you know, you could really go in and I'm just grabbing a quick one, but you could go in and maybe find one that's a little bit cooler. What you're doing is you're trying to think of things, what would people like? What's a name in here that someone would like? That's really, um, in fact, maybe even let me grab this one instead, Man Cave Expert. That's probably a little bit more something people would like. So now my fan page is going to be all about 
stuff for your man cave. Okay, it's going to be in the furniture department. It's going to be stuff all for your man cave. Um, and I'm going to target men with this page, and I'm going to find people who uh, I'm going to sell them man-related stuff. So tell me what your page is about. This is a very simple section. Um, you know, uh, you know, if you currently have a man cave at your house, or you are looking to design one, use this page for your man cave inspiration, man cave, uh, man cave inspiration products and do it yourself and do it yourself tips. Okay, and then your website would be, you know, the website you spot mancaveexpert.com. Okay, mancaveexpert.com. Save info. Okay, now you're looking for a picture, um, profile picture, and you're also going to do a um, cover photo. Now, there's a few ways to do this. I, I in a in a previous um, tutorial, um, I went over here and I actually talked um, already about this. So I have a tutorial here on designing your Shopify store graphics. So this is where you design the cover photo and the profile photo for your, um, you do the, use the same exact design tools to be able to design them for your fan page. So for the time being, I'm just gonna make it very, very basic. Let's just go over here to Google and let's just do a search for man cave and I'm looking for a square photo for my profile photo and I'm looking for, um, and I'm just looking for something that could jump out if it was small, you know? A lot of times what I'll do is I'll go, I'll just, I'll just zoom out. So I'm just doing the zoom button here. I'll zoom um, to get, to get really small because this is how people are going to see it. You know, this is how people are going to see it when they're on Facebook. It's going to be tidy. So right off the bat, out of all of these images, this one here jumps out at me. Welcome to the man cave. And I could read it and everything. Okay. So let's just view that image right there. Let's save this image as welcome to the man cave. And I could always replace this with a, with a custom image later. Now I'm going to upload this from my computer. Welcome to the man cave. We're going to let that thing load in and then we're going to save it as soon as it goes in. So literally what you're doing is you're basically designing a temporary profile picture and a temporary you're going through. So you've done the about section and you're doing a profile picture and you're going to do a temporary. You can replace it later, but that's a general tip. Just look at something there. Now, do you want to add it to your favorites? If you're, if you're designing a page, you're going to be using often. Just click this button here. Okay. Man cave expert. Okay. Otherwise, uh, if you have a lot of pages, just skip. Okay, now preferred page audience, you're definitely going to skip this. You're not going to use that Facebook ads. Um, that's not what you want to do. Your audience is going to build naturally, okay? So just right here in a couple minutes, we've got a name, Man Cave Expert, and we've got Welcome to the Man Cave right here. And now it's time for us to add a cover photo. So now let's go back, um, and now let's go ahead and, and reset this um, back to a regular view. Now I'm looking for more of a rectangle picture, something that I just think looks, looks really, really cool, something that looks classy, whatever. Um, you know, 50 best man caves ideas. Let's just use this one. Um, man cave arcade room. Okay. Um, just using, I'm just grabbing a random one. So let's go over here and add a cover photo, upload photo, man cave arcade room. And now you're going to be able to drag it up and down to get it looking just right. Okay. So you can go up, up like this or down like this. You see, that doesn't look as good. That looks okay. But if you kind of get a little bit of everything, I think it looks really good. So just like that. Okay. Now again, you can actually go into Canva and you can actually design this. That's in the design tutorial. I'll actually show you how to do this a lot more. Okay. So just like that, I'll save and right, just right off the bat. Now I have a, I have a niche fan page for welcome to the man cave, man cave expert. You know, I've got, um, and this could even be, I could do a different graphic that says man cave expert, and that might even be better. And then take that and make it um, transparent. And I could put it on a logo, man cave expert, just cool ideas. Okay. Now, now that I have a page, what I want to do is I want to fill the page with some content. See, there's nothing here. There's literally just a picture here. I want to fill the page with some content. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google, and I'm going to try to find um, maybe like five links and five um, pictures just to be able to do it. So let's just do man cave ideas. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with maybe like five links. I don't care what sites they are. Okay. Here's a thousand ideas about man cave on Pinterest. So I'm going to use this to maybe find some pictures, you know, there's really cool ideas here of different kinds of stuff. You can kind of see if anything um, stands out as something that you think would be, you know, if you're in the niche, what do you think would be cool? You know, um, you know, you can kind of look at this. Now, of course, you're going to have products that you're going to eventually do as well. So you're going to go to go through here. Now there's thousands. We're not going to take the time to do that, but that's what we could do. Pinterest gave you a lot of ideas. Now, how about this one? 119 ultimate man cave ideas. Okay. So you're going to take these sites like this, 
119 man cave ideas, furniture, signs, and decor. You're going to copy the URL, and then you're going to go back to your fan page, and you're going to post it here, and it's going to auto-populate for you. See what just happened? It just I took I just pasted the link and it auto found a thumbnail, a title, and a description. Now I'm going to erase the link. Okay. Now I'm going to write something about this if I want. 119 ultimate man cave ideas, man cave ideas for your garage bar share. I'm maybe going to copy that. Click on that. Copy that. You know I'll go like you know. Here are some man cave ideas for your garage bar shed or basement. Boom. So now I've got a post. Somebody else's content, but I've got a post. Now watch publish. Now my page looks like it's not just a brand new page. It now has a page, now has a post. Here are some man cave ideas. Now, I could even back backdate this post. Okay? There's lots of things you can do. When you go to actually schedule your posts, you can even backdate them. So if I want to create like 10 posts like this, I can backdate them so it looks like they've been going for like the last 10 days or something like that. So you want to basically your goal is to, to make it look like this page has been around for a while, but you want to do it very, very, very simple, very fast. So let's grab a couple more really quick. Um, so I'll usually do like a post and then pictures. So let's go man cave ideas. Now let's go to images and let's just look for a cool image. Same kind of thing, right? You're looking for like a really cool image, um, you know, something like this maybe. Visit page that, that the image is on and small man cave ideas, furniture ideas for the ultimate man cave. And you can kind of grab like some pictures off here and say something about it, you know? So there's a there's a cool room, a poker table room, and go through and you can find some pictures, anything, you don't want to spend too much time, I'm really just explaining it to you, but you're really just trying to find some pictures of things that um, that you like, like maybe this picture here with the deer, you could go into, um, you know, explain like a great um, man cave idea for hunters, um, arcade games, you know, different kind of, just different kind of cool things, you know, so you can really do a lot, let's go like home, movie, theater, ideas you know you go there and you go to images there so really what you're looking to do is just grab some images post about them on your page um, you know find something that you like find something that you think would be creative I mean if you're in the niche you might as well do something that you think is awesome as well and then you can also do like do-it-yourself man cave ideas these are things that people can do themselves so you can sell stuff okay 29 man cave ideas visit page and so you can get ideas from here too. So what you're doing is you're grabbing other people's content and you're posting them. So same thing here, 29 incredibly, 29 incredible man cave ideas on a budget. So watch, watch this one. Save image as uh, man cave, let's do 29 man cave ideas. Okay, 29 man cave ideas. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here, we're gonna upload that as a photo. And now we have 29 man cave ideas as a photo. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back here, we're gonna link this Go right there, we're gonna link this and, and go. Um, let's actually just grab this description. Let's go ahead and post it right there. And now we're gonna give them the link. So now what we're doing is we have a page right off the bat. And now we're gonna publish this. Okay? So now look how this watch how this looks. 29 incredible man cave ideas on a budget. Link, who among us doesn't find himself daydreaming about having a man cave one day? Boom, and we've got this picture here. Now this is a picture, and this is a this is a link, okay? This is a picture. When they click on this one, it just goes to the picture. When they click on this one, it goes to the actual page, the link. It actually takes them off to another site. So now what you're doing is you're mixing it up. You've got picture, you've got a link, and now maybe another kind of cool thing you could do is grab videos, okay? So you can go over to like maybe YouTube or something like that, and then do it like, type in like man cave, And you can go through and start finding something. The official Man Cave Tour. Okay, there's lots of things you can do here. So now you can grab this link right here, this YouTube link. Um, and you can post it. See how it auto-populates, the official Man Cave Tour. Um, check out this video tour of this amazing Man Cave. Okay, publish that. So you post the link and then you erase it, right? So now, now what do you have? Now you have a link, you have a picture, you have a YouTube video, and if you can find like a generic video, you could even download it yourself. You know, so maybe you can find a, a video that's not branded, just like a generic video, and find something cool, something that's not not branded. You could usually tell when you click on it. You can tell does it start off with logos, just a man cave, a little bit. So this one probably starts with logos and stuff like that. 
man cave. Uh, so maybe I'll do do it yourself. Uh, and here's another one. Top 10 man cave must haves. So here's another cool video right here. Top 10 man caves must haves. So you can do the same kind of stuff. Now, if you feel like you can actually download, if it's a generic enough video, it's not branded, you can actually download a video and upload it as a Facebook video. And that would be really cool too for your fan page. So what you're doing is you're mixing up content. What you're doing is you're doing, you're posting links, you're posting pictures, you're posting YouTube videos, and then you're even gonna upload um, videos here as well. Okay, you're gonna actually upload a, a video, a photo right here, you're gonna upload it. Um, and you're gonna be able to find, you gotta find generic man cave uh, videos if you wanna do that one. So man cave ideas, just find like somebody's like iPhone video, literally, literally something without a fancy thumbnail. Um, something super simple. Let's see, just as an example. Like this one. Do it yourself decoration ideas for men. Pretty generic, right? So then you could download this video to your computer and you could upload this and now you got a video. So essentially what you're doing is you're filling your page with content. You don't want to spend too much time. You want to spend just enough time to be able to fill it and just enough time to be able to um, get some content on here. Okay. Now that you have content on here, you go through and you, you basically want to do a couple other things, okay? Welcome to the man cave, okay? Then what you want to do is you want to go into your settings for the page right here, and this is the generic stuff that you're going to want to know about this um, page. You're going to want to go through and just go through each one of these. There's no, I don't need to go through, how I learned was I just went through all these. Let's make sure, okay? Um, page published, yes, I want to make sure my page is published, right? Um, reviews are turned off, yeah. Turn them off unless you're trying to do a branded page. You know, visitor posts, can anyone publish to the page? So what I might want to do is I might want to go in here, uh, allow visitors to um, allow photos and video posts. Maybe I don't want to have that, okay? So I can save. So you can go in here and you can set up your page just the way you want. Can people contact you? Yes, right? So you, you start looking at like all this different stuff that's going on, okay? If, if you have profanity and stuff happening in the comments, you can go ahead and turn off that profanity, um, all kinds of stuff. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over to page roles, and then you can go ahead and, and, and once your page starts going big, you can assign um, somebody to be able to work on your page. You can assign them as an admin, which gives them full uh, stuff, an editor, which allows them to make posts, a moderator, and you can see each one of these. So click on moderator. This person can send messages as the page. It can respond to and delete comments, so it can manage the comments. It can create ads for your page, and it can see which admin was the one that created a post or comment. It can also view insights and it can respond to Instagram comments. So this person here can really, um, can basically manage your messages and, and, and administrate your comments. So this is, this moderator, you're gonna want, once your page starts blowing up and you get, you know, thousands and thousands of, of likes and shares and comments and everything going on, at some point you might wanna have somebody be a moderator. So you can either get a friend or a family member or get a virtual assistant. So you would add them here and then you would give them a page roll. Okay, so stuff like that, okay? Um, there's just really cool stuff. Messaging, you can go over here to messaging and you can actually choose um, to be able to have like an automatic message. Send an instant reply to anybody who messages your page. You can click yes and you can go ahead and you can make like an, an instant message when somebody contacts your page. You know, thanks for contacting the man cave expert. We will reply as as soon as we can. For now, please, um, uh, you know, please visit our website at mancaveexpert.com for cool products and do-it-yourself ideas. Okay, you can, um, you can, you can like promote stuff like this. You give them automatic response. Also, if it's a support-related question. Contact support at mancaveexpert.com. Okay, or whatever, you know. We could take out that also because I ran out of I ran out of space. If it's a support related question, contact mancaveexpert.com. So you can go to like GoDaddy and you get to send up a set up a basic email address with GoDaddy, something like that. Now it kind of shows you what's gonna happen right here. It's gonna show you what it's gonna look like. So you're gonna be able to give people an instant reply when they contact you on the page. So they get something instant, so at least you're you're promoting, especially if you have like a special deal or something. Okay. And then you could also have um, and then you could have a virtual assistant get back or whatever. So there's just stuff you should do. You should go through here. You should go through and you should like check out what kind of stuff you can do with your page, okay? Get yourself um, familiar with it. This is where you're gonna check messages, 
This is where you're going to view insights, stuff like that. Okay, publishing tools. This is where you're going to go and you're going to be able to manage your page and be able to manage stuff. You can schedule posts. You can publish posts. This is where you're going to be able to see what kind of traffic you're getting, all kinds of stuff. You're able to see your insights. So you're going to be able to see which posts are, are doing the best, which ones are performing, stuff like that. So you really just kind of get familiar with this. So what you have here is you have a profile picture, a cover photo, a name. Um, you have all of this kind of stuff here. Um, look at awesome tutorial. Somebody just uh, kind of did that. You have the ability to be able to go through here and be able to make posts and, and stuff like that. Now, once you're done with all of this, now you have a fan page, so now you can place ads to it. Okay, that's why you're creating a fan page. You cannot place Facebook ads without one. So now we have a man cave fan page. We have a man cave site. So now let's talk about um, going and placing an ad to it. So how to place your very first Facebook ad. So again, must have a fan page uh, to be able to place ads. Okay, you can, um, you should start with Facebook ads manager before power editor. It's easier for beginners. Focus on making your first sale. Okay, so don't get don't get too caught up. Okay, um, simplest way to start is a picture post. Simplest way to start is a picture post, but we will cover a few different types. Okay, let's cover picture posts, video posts, link posts, offer posts. And then we'll cover maybe published versus unpublished. Okay, so um, let's just kind of dive into this and let's see how much we can cover really quick. Okay, we'll just do our best to keep keep covering a bunch of stuff. So let's erase a few of these tabs. Okay, so here we are on the page. So when you publish something here, this is going to show up um, as a published post. Okay, you can either schedule it to post some time, you can backdate it, uh, you can save it as a draft, right? So so or, you know you can basically do certain things right here, but this is going to show up on your page. If you want it to be unpublished, um, there's a way to do that, and we're going to cover the difference between that. But when you're first starting out, just do it published. So when would you want to do what's called an unpublished post or a dark post? Once your page starts getting popular, if you have a product that you don't want people to easily reverse engineer, you might not want it available here, right? Remember when we started looking at pit bull lovers, we could easily find products. We could just even go to like photos, and we could easily see if they were selling a product just like this. And then there you go, like we can see that what exactly what products they're selling because these are all published on their page, right? So when somebody has um, their stuff published, um, it's a little bit easier to find, but it doesn't matter. I do this all the time. Who cares? When you're first starting out, just do published posts, and then in the future, you could do unpublished posts. So there's a, a couple different types, right? Um, you can publish a, um, a link, okay, a, a link to a product. So let's look what that would look like. Let's go find a product right now. Let's go to Google. Let's do this search, site.myshopify.com slash man cave. Okay, I've taught this in previous modules, so we're going fast with it. So here's a bunch of sites um, that have to do with man, pave, man caves that are on my, uh, my Shopify, right? So just kind of cool stuff. Let's just go look at a random one. Let's see if there's any of these. Okay, sweet man cave company. Okay, so just like this, they have a catalog of products. And let's say they're trying to sell one. Um, da -da. I don't even really see anything here having to do with man cave, so I'm going to go back to another one. <clears throat> let's go back to another site. Let's go here to um, let's go. Let's type in maybe a better search: man cave wall poster, something like that. Let's see. Um, and let's just look for a direct product link. Sorry, that shop's not available. Sorry. Boom. Let's try to find this one. That page is not available. Wow, our stuff is. Maybe I'll go over here to tools and search in the last month and see if we can find something better. Okay, let's see, minimalist. Um, I'll search a little bit better than that. Let's do this past year. Okay, retro posters. Let's maybe find something. Ah, look at all these people that have not paid their Shopify bills. What are you guys doing? I'm trying to send you some, trying to give you some advertisement here. Okay, here's some cool wall decor. So maybe I could find something here that's man cave is esque and link directly to it. Um, looks like too much work. I'm going to go ahead and find a better one. Man cave ideas, man cave collection. Okay, here we go. Um, let's look for something here. Okay, of all these things, maybe, let's see, anything jumping out at us? How about this one? Okay, so here's a product. Let's say this was your site, your man cave expert site. You can go find a canvas, an art canvas with a car decoration on it. This might be great for a man cave. Okay, it's 50 bucks. That's what they're charging. Um, 
they're probably getting it for a lot less by 15 bucks or 10 bucks or whatever. So this, this link right here, there's a few different ways to be able to promote this as a product. You can promote this picture. So let's save the image as, and let's do, um, let's do uh, car canvas. Let's just save it as I don't know what I say. car canvas picture. So you can save it as a picture. You can save it as a link. Okay. So um, let's first, let's go in and post it as a picture. Upload it as a photo, car canvas picture. Um, uh, and then you put some sort of a description with a link to do it. Um, would you rock this? What was it like a Bugatti? I don't even know. Would you rock this Bugatti canvas? I didn't even help you pay attention. Would you rock this Bugatti canvas um, in your man cave? Um, and let's do like chime in. Would you rock this Bugatti? Tag if, uh, you know, say something like, uh, get it here. Chime in. Would you rock this Bugatti man canvas in your man cave? Get it here. And then you can put a link to it. Now, notice this link. Look at how long this link is. Okay? So look at how long that link is. That just doesn't look good, right? So what? first things first, you should you should map a domain name to your store. Okay? First things first. Second thing. When you're, when you're creating products in your store, you should shorten the URL so they're shorten, so a lot shorter. But all that being said, there's another way, okay? What you can do is you can go over here to uh, Bitly, okay? And by the way, we're in the process of creating a URL shortener app right inside of your store to be able to make this a lot, lot better. Uh, but you can go over here to, to Bitly, paste your long URL there, and it creates a short one. Then you can customize this, um, Bugatti poster, and then save. Okay, I hope that's a Bugatti. I'm doing all this work and it might not even be a Bugatti. Um, and now, instead of this long link, look, get it here. Okay, now if you want, you can even repeat that twice so it's very, very visible. Get it here, get it here. Would you rock this Bugatti canvas in your man cave? Get it here. And if you and you might want to draw maybe even an arrow like that, just to maybe even draw a little more attention to it. Get it here, get it here. Okay, so um, this right here is an example of a, of a, of a simple picture post. And let's do that. Let's publish that one. So now you have, um, you know, look at this. Look how it looks, right? So now you have, um, you've got your Man Cave Expert page. You're, you're building up a lot of cool content. And now you've got a nice picture. And this picture sells something, okay? So now you've got the ability, this is called a picture post, okay? So we're talking about a picture post right here. So what this does is this basically is just a picture. When people click on it, all they see is a picture. But this does well for engagement. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to boost this post and try to get some engagement on it. Okay. But I'm not going to use this. I'm not going to use this right here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to create an ad going to this. Okay. But before we do, I'm going to also create another version of this post. Okay. So um, the next version I want to create is a link post. So what happens if I take the same link and just post it as a link, no picture. Okay. So I can now do a link post. Now, it pulled up a kind of a bad link. That uh, It looks like that site didn't automatically pull up a good link. Let's try it again. Let's go, um, let's refresh. For whatever reason, this page is not pulling up a good image when I post this long link. There it is. Okay, now this is a link post. See how it still has the picture a little bit there? Okay, it still has it, so it's not bad. So what I did was I just pasted this long link. It auto-populated this, um, this, this picture, title, and description. Now, I don't like that description at all. It just doesn't look good at all. So I would say something like here, like, would you rock this Bugatti art canvas in your man cave? Check it out, okay, something like that. So that's a little bit better maybe of a, of a description. Art canvas car decoration for living room prints on frames. I'm gonna probably do something better than that too. Click on it, Bugatti art canvas um, man cave expert, okay? Something like that. Bugatti art canvas, man cave expert. Would you rock this Bugatti art canvas in your man cave? Check it out. So this is called a link post. Now, if they click on this, it's actually going to go. It's going to get a little bit less engagement, but it's going to get more clicks. So then now that you've used that, you can erase that. So now you got to put a description here. You could actually do, I'll, I'll just use the same, um, the same description here, just so we can save time. You can put in a new one. But now I've got the same kind of a post, but this time it's a link post. So this is a link post, and this is a picture post. So you see the difference? Um, now, there's a few things that I can do here, but you just see the difference, right? I'm just 
giving you like the basics of it, okay? So let's publish that. What I've essentially got is I've got a link post and I've got a picture post, and I could even do a video post um, if I wanted. So what is the difference? Now for this one, for this one, what, what's gonna happen is people are gonna maybe like this. Like a lot of people that like, if I get the right man cave audience and I get the right Bugatti audience and stuff like that, I can target people that might be interested in this, okay? And then um, over here, um, this one's a little bit more of like a, just directly trying to sell this thing, okay? So this is more like when they click on this, it's gonna take them right to the page to be able to buy this, okay? So that's an example. This is just an example of, of how to be able to do it. There's lots of ways to do this. Now, I've got two posts. So now that you've got two posts, you're gonna log in your Facebook ads account. Okay, I've just got a little shortcut link here. Log into my Facebook ads account. And now let me show you about placing um, a couple of types of ads. Again, we're gonna show, um, I showed you a picture post. Um, I showed you a link post. I didn't show you a video post or offer post yet, but I at least showed you these. Maybe I'll, um, let's see. And I showed you published and unpublished, so I'll maybe come back to show you those. Um, okay, let's just keep going. So when you log into Ads Manager, it says choose your objective, okay? You can, if, you have, if it's a video post, you can get video views as your objective. If it is a, um, if it's a Facebook offer, like maybe a free plus shipping offer or something like that, you can get people to claim your offer right here. So an offer ad would be get people to claim your offer, and let's call this um, campaign name, free plus shipping Bugatti poster. Now, of course, this product won't qualify for free plus shipping. It's not, it's too expensive, but this is just an example. I would go to an offer claim, and I would press continue, and then I would go in here and I would start creating it, okay? I would start, you know, I would, I would start creating my, my offers right here, okay? Now, if it defaults to create multiple ad sets, you might have to click here, create new ad set. You wanna make sure it's right there. Um, but the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna choose a Facebook fan page, and right here, you can have hundreds of them. I mean, you see I've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, right? So you're gonna wanna come in here and, and choose a fan page. Let's go ahead and choose uh, Man Cave, and it should pop right up. Just like typing it in. And then I've got Man Cave right there, and then I can create an offer. And so this is how you would create an offer for it. This would be like, you know, um, whatever kind of offer you want to create, these are these offer ads, and these work pretty well. So you could decide, okay, buy one, free stuff, let's do free stuff, um, and then it says free shipping with purchase. So you can do all kinds of stuff here. And you can, if you don't know what each one of these does, just go like this, go like, this is what I did when I first started, A-A-A-A, B-B-B-B, C-C-C-C, D-D-D-D, okay, one, 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 okay. And then there's advanced options underneath that. So you can kind of see A, 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 so you can kind of like mess with these, right? So now I can kind of just go in here. Okay, what's my offer title going to be? Um, you know, uh, get this Bugatti canvas free, just pay, just pay shipping. Okay. Boom. So now I've got an offer. Okay. And then for details, that's going to be down here, BBB, details. Um, for a limited time, we are giving um, the next 100 Man Cave Expert fans um, this Bugatti canvas art for free. Just pay, the, uh, just pay S and H. Okay, so it's something like that. Okay, I'm not saying this. I'm not saying this is the best copywriting. You guys get, you guys get that I'm just live right now on, on a thing, right? Just serving some value up. Then you can choose an end day, end time, whatever, expi offer expires. You can always go in and edit that, but you have to keep an eye on it. So right now it's December 21st, so it automatically expires a week later. You gotta keep an eye on this. If you're keeping a good eye on it, then you could basically, you can go in and do expires 22nd and just keep changing it um, another day. But if, if not, you know, whatever, just make it like that. Where can people redeem it online? Online offer URL, now this is gonna be the link to your, um, you know, you're gonna basically make like, uh, you're going to make like a separate tracking link for this one, but it would be something along the lines of this. You would basically make, make a link, um, but you're going to want to make sure that you track it so you know everybody that's coming from this. So you can always make a different Bitly link. Um, but there you go. Now I've just got, it's going to basically, when people click this offer, it's going to go there. Okay, total number of offers available, maybe like 97 left. Okay, so there we go. I've got, I've got this, this whole thing kind of coming together, right? So here's my ad coming together. Um, terms and conditions, I can basically terms and conditions, I might want to put something in there, but I'm not going to go into this right now. Um, you know, so I'll just do some basic ones. You might want to go a little bit more complicated here. Terms and conditions, um, this offer may expire at any time 
we reserve the right to end this promotion at any time without notice. We also reserve the right to extend this offer without notice. Um, customers must pay for shipping and handling of the free product. Offer only valid in the United States, whatever. You guys, I'm giving you like an example. Okay? Um, for more details, contact support at mancaveexpert.com. Okay, just like that. So you're kind of starting to get, and then you can see kind of a notification example. Somebody's going to say, you have an unused offer. They're going to get notifications that look like that. Pretty cool, right? It's a kind of a pretty cool little product create. This given page, oh, sorry, I just created the page. I didn't turn on offers. Okay, so on a side note, we'll come back to this, but you got to go back into the fan page and turn on your fan page for offers. And I think they say that your fan page must have 100 fans in order to have offers. So, sorry, I'm always used to not doing offers immediately in training. But you guys get the point, right? You guys get the point. So there you have it. You just go and then you create the offer. Okay, and then you could design a graphic right here if you want, some kind of cool stuff. Now, I'm going to go ahead and ditch this out, and that was an offer ad. Let's go back to the objectives. Um, a video view ad, same thing. You would just upload the video. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, but for now, what I want to do is I want to focus on picture posts and link posts. Okay, we covered a little bit of those. Picture posts and link posts. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do this boost your post objective right here. And we're going to go ahead and do... Um, Whatever the post is about, you're going to give it a title like Bugatti, um, Bugatti Art. That's going to be, this is going to be the name of the product, so you can always remember it. Bugatti Art. So all ads running to this, you should start with Bugatti Art, so you always remember them. And then the next one is going to be the audience you're going to go into. So I'm going to do like Bugatti Keywords, okay, for this one. Conti continue. Um, so again, my objective, just going back, my objective is, uh, is going to be product name and keyword name that I'm going after. And you can always change this later, okay? So now I've got audience placements, budget, and schedule. Okay, so what you're gonna do over here is, um, I'm gonna target people in the United States for now because it's a product I want them to purchase. And I'm gonna target all ages because I'm gonna go general. Um, I don't know. I'll probably I usually always target 21 because I find 